Let me uh, end, uh, if I can, on Mitch McConnell here for a moment. Uh, the ma majority leader, the Senate majority leader, is telling the New York Times, quote, I certainly didn't expect to have three Supreme Court justices uh, at the risk of tooting my own horn. Look at the majority leader since LBJ and find another one who was able to do something as consequential as this. I'm wondering what your response is, especially since, as you mentioned, he could mm. not gather his own party to support a COVID relief bill for the millions of Americans who need that help desperately. Mitch McConnell is not a force for good in our country. And if he thinks it's a source of pride uh, to rush a, a justice uh, into the Supreme Court in a way that uh, dishonors the court uh, and dishonors Ruth Bader Ginsburg, as a matter of fact, and he calls that an accomplishment, he is not in any way shouldn't use his name in the same sentence with Lyndon Baines Johnson, who did so much for our country. They're rushing that person in there so that she can be there, oh, not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, to, under, uh, to repeal the Affordable Care Act. And not only that, to be there, as the president said, for the courts to decide on certain aspects of the election, uh, to undermine our democracy, to overturn uh, the Affordable Care Act and the benefits contained therein, including the pre-existing condition. And if he thinks that's a source of pride, it just shows you why he is not a force for good and he should not even beg comparison instead of big contrast with Lyndon Baines Johnson. All right, Madam Speaker, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. I greatly appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Yep. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.